Now everyone knows how to make a fretboard darker, but what about making it lighter? Do you simply pour bleach on it? And what would it look like? Let's find out. So today I want to test out bleaching a fretboard and one of the most commonly used fretboard woods these days, at least on import guitars, is Purple Heart or also known as Amaranth. And the cheapest way for me to get some Amaranth to test with was to buy this ukulele. Yes, so that's cheaper than buying a slab of Amaranth. I mean a small one. However, the idea here is not to make this ukulele better, but simply to test out bleaching. Uh, the ukulele might end up being worse than it was before. But let's start the bleaching. I'm using a two-step bleaching process and first we apply sodium hydroxide. Uh, some call it caustic soda or lye, which looks like salt and we put one tablespoon in small amount of water and dissolve it and I'm applying it with a tiny sponge. Also here on the side I want to test bleaching some wenge. Uh, don't call it a wenge. We let it dry and then tiny amounts of sodium hydroxide will remain in the wood pores. And then step number two is to apply hydrogen peroxide. We apply it the same way and once the hydrogen peroxide comes in contact with the sodium hydroxide, it starts the bleaching reaction. And then we wait again, wait for it until it's dry. Uh, nothing will happen immediately. And here's the result. Here we're noticing some problems. There are small areas that remain dark. And the problem most likely was that there was some grease on the fretboard. So I guess step number zero would have been to clean all the areas with, for example, isopropyl to make them completely grease free. And after all that, I'm masking off and I'm neutralizing the wood with some vinegar. Just use some highly acidic vinegar that you have in your house and mix it with water and apply some of that over the wood again. And here's the results. The masking on the Wenge didn't work so well. I guess I needed finer sanding and the fretboard looks like this. Uh, the way I masked it off creates a fake binding, which also means the edges of the fretboard are what the wood looked like before bleaching. Then as an additional test, I wanted to see if you can apply wood dye onto the Wenge. And the result is, yes, you can put wood dye on Wenge, it works. And now while I'm at it, I want to test out this decorative wax, which has white color. So I'm applying some of it, I've masked off again, and then I wipe off the excess and let it dry. Uh, of course, on this ukulele, this looks absolutely horrendous. However, in case someone has a guitar design that would need or would benefit from a completely white fretboard, this is something that can be used. Also, it's non-toxic, and when it's dry, it will uh, hold quite well. All right, and finally, even though I bought this ukulele as a test piece, I do want to make it look nice again. So, so I'm thinking of applying this amber colored hard wax oil. I think in the USA they call this product poly X oil or something. And I've masked off again. I'm applying some of the hard wax oil. I wipe off the excess, let it dry for 12 hours, then apply another layer, let it cure again. And then uh, after 24 hours, uh, it's safe to play the ukulele again. And here's the final result. So I didn't ruin it. This looks quite okay. Also worth knowing, even though I applied all these liquids to the fretboard, there was no fret sprout. So the frets are still good. Also, there was no issue with the bleach attacking the metal of the frets. All right, so I hope this was useful to anyone. Or maybe it's an example what not to do. Uh, rather not bleach fretboards. Thanks for making it until the end of the video. Uh, there's a more normal guitar build video coming up. Please subscribe, like and comment and see you in the next one.